Good morning, everyone. I just had to share this beautiful view with you this morning as you hear a number of Panquist updates. I love fall so much. And when you look at this gorgeous river with the Canada geese and the trees, and just look at this. I hope that as you start your work week that you just pull all of this beauty and peacefulness into your heart. Uh, let me give you a couple of wonderful updates. It's gonna be an amazing week. First, our Coats of Kindness program is officially launched and we are accepting new and gently used coats. Last year, as I know you know, we raised nearly 900 coats given to people of all ages. And once again, Gold Star Cleaners is gonna partner with Penquist for this effort. You can bring any new or gently used coats to our Penquist offices and gently used coats can also be dropped off at Gold Star Cleaners in Old Town, Bangor, Brewer, and Lincoln. Thank you so much, Gold Star Cleaners. In addition, once again, Chick-fil-A is stepping up and has joined as a sponsor. All through the month of November, they're gonna have a special going on called the Sweet Treat Fundraiser. Sounds tasty. They're gonna be donating 10% of all their chocolate chunk cookies and chocolate fudge brownie sales to our Penquist Coats of Kindness. And on November 12th, they're gonna host a bingo night and have a new and gently used coat collection from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Anyone who donates a coat during that time will actually get a Chick-fil-A sandwich gift card for each new or gently used coat they donate. So fun, thank you Chick-fil-A. We also have a few exciting events coming up this week. Uh, we have a ribbon cutting, which I'm super excited about. This is going to mark a year long effort for the newly expanded Early Childhood Education Center at Eastern Maine Community College, Katahdin Higher Education Center, which is in East, in East Millinocket. The event will take place on Thursday, October 31st. That's right, Halloween from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's so exciting. This effort has taken a long time to come to fruition and is a true testament to the determination and commitment of the leadership of the college and this region to have access to high quality early care and education for not just the children, but for the parents and families as well, so they can be active in the workforce or continue their education. We are so honored to be a part of the celebration and we will also be joined by the Honorable United States Senator Susan Collins, representatives from the Honorable Senator Angus King's office and with President Liz Russell of Eastern Maine Community College. We are so honored to be a longtime partner with Eastern Maine Community College and Katahdin Higher Education Center. Congratulations to everyone involved and we look forward to the event. In addition, on the very next day, Friday, November 1st at noon, we will be dedicating the Captain Miller House in honor of Richard M. Brown. Richard Brown, known to many of you as Dick, served as the CEO of the Charlotte White Center for 38 years. I, again, 38 years until his retirement in 2017. He is well known and loved in our community for his kindness and his dedication to the people of Penobscot and Piscataquis counties and for enhancing and enriching the lives of people with the support and services needed to lead healthy, independent lives. So excited to be celebrating him. In 1992, under Dick's leadership, the Captain Miller House was Charlotte White Center's first venture into providing mental health support services and was a catalyst and inspiration as they grew, evolved, and remained responsive to the growing and diverse needs of our community. The dedication of this building is so fitting and well-deserved. We look forward to celebrating and honoring Dick, his lasting accomplishments in our communities, and the continued mission of the Captain Miller House. In addition, we've also been a part of a number of community events recently. We were thrilled to join the town of Greenville for their resource fair for older adults, as well as the Maine Highlands Older Residents Expo in Dover Foxcroft. We just love being in the community, meeting with residents, talking about resources, and learning along the way. In addition, our SAY program, which supports youth impacted by other substance use, recently participated in the RSU 34 Trunk or Treat. What a great time. The students put so much work into decorating with the theme of Hocus Pocus. We appreciate their efforts and also to being out in the community with them. And then lastly, I'd like to give a few uh, shout outs of acknowledgement and appreciation. First, to Versant Power for a very generous donation they recently gave to help keep people warm this winter. They gave $20,000 and we, we are so thankful. Thank you, Versant. And then lastly, Penske Truck. They, Penske really came through with us for a donation for our upcoming turkey drive. You know it, believe it or not, November 1st is around the corner. And they actually confirmed they're going to donate a refrigerated truck to us again this year to help with the Free the Z turkey drive. 
As I know you know, our Panquist team has been very busy planning for this year's turkey drive, and we are just so excited to have this vital resource confirmed and secured. Thank you, Penske. Now, this year, our goal for turkeys is 5,500 households receiving a turkey. It's a bold goal. We can't thank them enough for supporting uh, this drive and making this donation. And also, please know for all of you who helped so much with the turkey drive, we're doing a lot of planning and there's gonna be a lot more information coming your way. So many great updates this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this beauty. Let me scan the surround one more time. It's just so gorgeous. Please hold this beauty and peace in your heart as you launch into your week. And I hope you have the most spectacular one. Thank you for all you do. And please know I'm thinking of you. Take care.